hope you're doing well. Thank you for coming back to my channel and supporting me while I experience this hobby to its fullest. I have for you today an enclosure build. I have a very cheap acrylic aquarium that I found on Craigslist for about five dollars. So I'm going to slap that together and I'm doing it rather quickly. I did not use a lot of measurements to drill holes and I am not very experienced at putting the um, aquarium safe acrylic or the, the sealant around the edges and stuff. So it's very sloppy. Please forgive me, but it does give you a general idea of what you can do with some cheap thing that you find on Craigslist like I did. I do plan to maybe have an, an INSE uh, communal in this enclosure. And then I made another enclosure, a small one. It's a critter keeper that I modified for one of the tarantulas. I am tarantula sitting, and that is a Seriopagopus species hottie hottie. So um, I got that, and I will do rehousing videos here soon so that you can see how that goes. Um, <laughs> and I want to say my last video, the intro to it, I did not even know what was going on, but I seemed a little strange. My talking was really off and maybe I feel a little uncomfortable. Like maybe I was a little bit fake. Um, <laughs> not really myself. Maybe I was trying too hard to be enthusiastic. I really don't know, but when I watch it now, it's kind of uh, unsettling. So, well, um, thank you and I hope you enjoy this video. I'm going to turn this Craigslist find, it's an acrylic um, tank, into an enclosure. I'm going to use pieces from this to fill in those gaps. I'm going to drill holes and I'm going to silicone that with aquarium safe silicone. So let's see how this turns out. I have cut this piece out with my Dremel. It's kind of a rough cut. Um, and I'm going to see if it fits in this top. And I'm going to need to clean it up around the edges. Um, I just used this cutting edge, turned it on, and carefully went outside the lines. And I'm going to do the same thing with these and these uh, small piece. I'm going to make two of them. So the piece does indeed fit in here and it's going to have a lot of silicone um, around the edges to get rid of any cracks and I'm going to clean it up. So I've cleaned up the edges a little bit with um, this sanding tool bit with a sanding bit on my Dremel. All the rough edges will be done so with the silicone, so we won't have to worry about that. So that's going to be the next step after I get these other pieces cut. So I have placed all of these silicone parts on this lid, and now I just have to wait for it to dry. Now mind you, this aquarium was about five dollars and it was on craigslist it's used so it's you know something that you know somebody would use for a kid to play with but i want to transform it into something somewhat nice i mean the top doesn't look that great but hopefully when i get done with it you will see something different i'm gonna let this um cure for 24 hours before i move on to the next step so it is the next day and the silicone has dried. I'm going to drill holes in the top of this enclosure and I'm going to use this drill bit 764 and uh, it doesn't cause the plastic to melt. It's very nice. So I'm going to 
drill holes in the top and I'm gonna also do some cross ventilation on this. This is going to be, hopefully, for my N insay communal. I'm gonna move them over because, um, yeah, their female had some babies and they are a little too big to be crowded into her space. So let me go ahead and do some drilling. So I'm gonna go ahead that way and drill and you see how these are, they just come right off. It's this nice platinum drill bit. So I'm gonna turn the camera off and finish that up. So here you have the holes that I drilled. They're not perfect. I didn't measure them out. I just did five down all the way across and tried to space them as good as I could. You can see that uh, I'm not trying to win any prizes with this enclosure. It's just some scrap thing I got off of uh, Craigslist really cheap and I want to make it into something. So now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do the ventilation <clears throat> on this part of the tank. Now what I'm gonna want to do is have some good cross ventilation. I also want to ventilate um, you know a couple places along the back and on the side and once I drill a hole in here again and take a look at it I might do a couple of drills down low because I didn't have any problem with my N NSA slings escaping when I used this um, seven, seven, what did I say it was? Seven sixty fourths uh, drill bit. So let me get started. So just in one row across the top here, I'm going to put a lot of ventilation along here. So that's what I'm going to do next. So now I have my enclosure here. I've drilled along the front. I've got this entire panel pretty much is all ventilation. I've got a strip along the back and over here. I think that should be enough. The end insay, I won't be keeping them, you know, very wet. So I don't expect to have mold issues. I'm going to be putting some dwarf white isopods in here. Um, so that is pretty much ready to go as far as an enclosure. I'm gonna that lid. Then um, another project I was working on is this critter keeper. My friend has a sea species hottie hottie, and that one needs to be rehoused. So I'm, I made this last night with a piece of the ac acrylic that I had. I got the aquarium stuff all over so I'm gonna have to clean this but you know it's just a very simple piece of acrylic across here I use the aquarium safe um, sealant this is gonna go on the front so I can just have it sitting up like this there is a gap right here between where the uh, lip has been put on and the lid but since it's a sea hottie hottie, I'm not really concerned that it's going to go in there. Um, I'll set it up so that it, it'll be more comfortable being in the back. But I'm going to drill, drill some holes in this one as well um, so that it'll be appropriate. There you have it. Um, this enclosure has its holes drilled all the way around. Should be good ventilation. So that was a, a cheap critter keeper using an extra piece of acrylic. Used it on here too and it was left over from one of those long um, like a semi case that you get at Hobby Lobby and I just cut pieces out of it. So I have a nice piece of cork bark here. 
and I'm going to cut a piece off and put it into this enclosure. I just have a mixture of some potting soil with um, cocoa fiber and some sphagnum moss. I am going to change out the bit on my drill. And I'm going to just take a piece off of the end here, maybe about that high. Um, this tarantula is, you know, only about this big right now. So it'll burrow down and it'll web this tube up. So that should work for the time being. That's called pushing it in too hard. Now it smells like it's burning. And I kind of, yeah. Somebody going to light a fire! Oof! A pretty tough piece of cork bark there. Alright, it's a pretty nice tube. do its digging so that should work just fine and I'll put a little water dish here and I could probably put this plant in Got a very quick enclosure for a sea species hottie hottie made from a very cheap four or five dollar critter keeper you could always put something in here like some kind of foam or something to fill in this gap if you wanted I'm sure some of the dirt's probably going to get pushed over there we'll see but I mean once the tarantula gets more settled and it's all webbed in I'm not really too worried about it um, so there you go. Hope you like it. If you're on a budget, pretty good deal for you. So here's that acrylic enclosure for my NNSA communal. All the hills, holes are drilled into it. And I'm gonna use a mixture of cocoa fiber and potting soil. I like getting my hands dirty and putting dust all over the house. I feel naughty when I do things like that, so I sweep up after myself about 50 times a day. I find it fun, in case you're wondering. So for the NNSA, I am going to give them quite a bit of substrate, but they're also going to have this nice big piece of vine that they can web on. They make very nice webbed up enclosures. They're very pretty. So I've got the mama and her babies and I'm going to transfer them and see how they do in here and what they do. I know a lot of people have talked about keeping them communally and uh, most of the reports that I hear is that it's a, it's a failure, but um, you know, I just, I want to try it. I want to see how it goes. So this I can bury down inside here a bit. I could either do it like this or I could 
put it in so that that top is sticking way up. So maybe they would build some web up like that. Either way, I'm gonna have to let this air out to the other part, the, the uh, hood, the top, because it still smells. So I'm not gonna be doing the rehousing on this video. I'm just setting up the tank so that you can see what it looks like. So I have cut another piece of cork bark. This one has two nice entrances here and ah, some extra stuff I can peel out, throw around in here to make it look more natural. So I want them to have a lot of space to hide and have like their own areas so they're not competing too much. So I need to figure out where can I put this one? if I can put it in here at all. I think that's pretty nice. Yeah, that looks pretty good, like it just got wedged in there. I think that looks pretty good. Um, let's take a closer look at it. So here's taking a look at the Ninse communal setup. I have this large piece of, um, I don't know if it's a what they call the grape wood, and then I have a piece of cork bark. It has one opening over here and two little openings there. There's plenty of space for them to go down under there right away so that they can feel safe. And just some sphagnum moss. Lots of anchor points for them. They'll have a water dish in here. And I will add some kind of greenery. But that gives you a basic idea of how I'm going to set up my Ninse communal and how I built this cheap enclosure that I found on Craigslist. The Ninse babies are pretty small, so I, I'm not gonna put a water dish in here at the moment. What I'm gonna do is wet one corner, and I have this plant called a pothos, and I'm gonna keep that plant in there, in one corner where they will have water. And I'll also be spraying down, lightly misting the tank. But a lot of it I will keep dry. So, there's the plant. I think that looks pretty good. Mm -hmm. 